Hi folks, how's it going? I'm Steve Mac. welcome to my channel and tonight I'm going to be going my first adventure that I've ever done on this channel I'm going to be going wild camping with my buddy Chris and uh, yeah, let's get right into it, roll the intro Time to get on the road, go meet up with Chris Cheese. <laughs> I've got my tent, I've got my sleeping bag, I've got a spare change of clothes, I've got water, everything you could need. I've got beer <laughs> and I've got food. After picking up Chris, it was time to head to Morrison's to get some supplies and then off to McDonald's for our dinner. to find some kind of sandwich. Mm. That would do. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, we went and got our scran, got everything we needed. Water, snacks, and beer. Good to go. Alright, so when we got to McDonald's, there was a guy clearly high on something, just staggering around the drive through like asking the uh, the workers for some water. <laughs> Literally only in Glasgow. Finished our dinner and hit the road again, making our way towards the Erskine Bridge and then eventually on to the car park for the hill. And we decided that an epic gearing up montage was in order. Just reminded me this could quite possibly be one of the hottest days of the year and there's not a lot of shade on the path on the way up this hill so fingers crossed we survive <laughs> all right we're uh, probably about halfway at this point we found a, a little shaded spot on the trees right next to the path um, some really great views going on out here as well. We're just chilling. <laughs> and uh, yeah, get back on the path soon. See you at the top.
right here folks, we're at the top. Uh, we made it to the top of the sort of Kilpatrick Hills path that takes you on the way up. And uh, wait till you see some of these views, they're absolutely incredible. Check some of this out. From the sort of Clyde there coming all the way in. So I'm panning right round to the Erskine Bridge there. And then to Glasgow itself as well. Some really great shots. <laughs> Chris is over here in the background, um, we're just about to get the tent set up and uh, hopefully have a really good night. Catch you in a bit. Alright guys, we're up here on the hill we've just got our, uh, our tents pitched up and stuff and uh, should be good for the evening. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too windy up here. Um, we've got a nice few sort of planes and things coming in, there's one at the moment. Might be able to catch it in the background, we'll see. And uh, we're going to head up to the um, to the reservoir at the moment and uh, see if we can get a few good shots up there. Um, the battery on this camera is about to die so I might have to switch to a GoPro on my phone so the footage might not be quite as good but We'll see what we get, and uh, I'll catch you in a bit. Hey guys, on the phone now. Uh, video quality on the camera got a bit gubbed with the battery, but we just uh, in a hurry set up the DSLR here to catch a very nice shot of the Waverley sailing up the Clyde underneath the Erskine Bridge. So we just kind of like quickly get all rigged this, uh, this tripod up and got a really nice shot. I'll stick that on screen now for you. All right, so. Uh, Stand here at the top of the, the reservoir at the top of Kilpatrick Hills here again. It's a lovely sunset tonight, um, sort of right behind me. It's, uh, really is some place this, absolutely fantastic. Been up here a few times for camping, it's uh, always a good adventure. Uh, we're going to head back down, actually back over to where our tents are, to see if we can get a really good, um, not a good sunset shot here. To wrap up the night, I've got a little bit of um, nighttime photography to do looking out over Glasgow. So, uh, yeah, catch you guys back at the, uh, the campsite. Sunset in the distance. Fantastic. So, uh, sun's definitely setting now up on the hills. Um, good view of Glasgow as the, uh, the lights have all just started coming back on now, so we should get some. Uh, interesting pictures. We were out earlier on with the camera getting some shots of the moon and stuff so I'll, I'll stick them on screen now for you. And uh, yeah, we'll take a little spin have a look at what the, what the sun's up to at the minute. I'd love to be shooting on the Canon right now but I need to buy more batteries for it. It's now basically flat. I'm saving the last little bit for a wee fun shot later in the tent but yeah, we'll see how the night progresses and See what more cool shots we can get and see where we go from there. Alright, so I'm um, just going to show you kind of what my setup is for inside the tanks. We haven't really had a proper look at this yet since we actually arrived and it's starting to get dark, so I figured we would get on with this as soon as we can. Um, so, what I've got here is the OEX Traverse mat, which kind of does me alright. Um, it's not the lightest sort of uh, mat you can get or the sort of neatest pack size, but for 25 quid, you can't really go wrong. And it's never let me down yet, so fairly reliable. We'll speed up this bit of me uh, blowing my lungs out. There we go. Yeah, come around a bit. All right, this mat just slips in to the tent. I bring a very high-tech pillow with me when I go out, stolen from the couch at home. Fantastic. That sits up the top. We grab ourselves another OEX product here. I'm a kind of big fan of them for value for money at the moment out of uh, Go Outdoors, but nothing fancy, but it does the job. All right, guys, we're about to do a cool shot with the camera. And Chris has this giant moth just land on him. Look at this guy. He's so cool. He's like playing with his little face and stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, we're all wrapped up in the tent, come to the, the end of the night here, about to go to sleep. I've turned my little door into a sort of window, and if we keek out, that's the view outside my tent right now. Good old Glasgow. All right, night team, catch you in the morning. All right. Morning guys, we're uh, just awake up here on the hill now, just about to take a little peer out the tent and see what we're working with with the weather. Alright, nice foggy morning out over Glasgow, the cloud always kind of sets funny every time I've been camping up on these hills, so hopefully that'll clear as the morning goes on. Just up, Chris is still uh, tent at the minute, we're going to have to get him up in a minute. We're just coming up to the viewpoint here to have a little look and see what our morning looks like here. A little bit of fog, so now we're getting behind the tree. Over the bridge, we can capture a few pictures before we go. Morning guys, we're uh, just awake up on the hill here. Got some stunning views of the, the sort of Clyde lighting up with the sun as it comes up. And then behind me you can see the clouds are actually clearing quite quickly here. We woke up to a little bit of fog and mist round about us, so that was pretty cool. It's actually rolling off towards uh, the rest of the hills and over Glasgow over there. Uh, so yeah, we're just about to pack up the tents. We'll get a little bit of shots of that and what have you. And then we'll get ourselves down off the hill and find some uh, top quality scran. Alright guys, we're just leaving the hill. and. Uh, just noticed a massive sort of rain cloud amassing on the horizon so we're gonna boogie out of here right quick to the bottom. A little bit knackered but we're all good. Heading home. Right we just rocked up at McDonald's again. Got ourselves some pancake meals. Bloody delicious. Cheers to a job well done. Oh, all right. Just got back home and that's a wrap on the first adventure on the on the channel here so my buddy Chris that you saw in the in the footage there he's actually just moved down to Glasgow and I haven't seen him for about six months um, since the last lockdown we're still in Covid at the time of uh, filming this video um, so that was a great little way of us catching up again and me kicking off this channel. So my goal with this channel is to take you with me on an adventure every week. Having worked as a sailing coach and outdoor instructor for the last 15 years, I've found my passion in chasing adventure from something as simple as an overnight wild camp after work or an urban nighttime photography session to something more grand like touring Europe on my motorbike or sailing on the west coast of Scotland. If you love chasing adventures in life, feel free to subscribe and join me on this one as I try and go on an adventure every week. Thanks for watching.